Spaces Director and Visiting Copper Belt University in the American Corner. And we have for our presentation today for Education USA, we have Fatu Jobe. She is originally from Gambia and she's a student at the University of Connecticut. And we're going to, um, she's going to actually present on step one, the application of, of, I'm sorry, step one, researching your options in the Education USA process, which is a five step process. Some of you have heard this before, but uh, if you're remotely thinking about applying to college or university in the US, it would really be to your benefit to hear the information again. And for those who are hearing it for the first time, this is an important step to begin that journey. So I'm turning it over to Fatu. She'll tell you a little bit about herself and, and her experience in studying in the U.S. And she's going to share a PowerPoint presentation as well. It's over to you, Fatu. Hello, hi everybody. Um, my name is Fatu, and as Carla said, um, I'm from originally from Gambia, West Africa. Um, and I moved to the United States in 2011 to um, study here. I'm currently at the University of Connecticut I'm studying economics in my senior year, so I'm graduating in May. I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, And I'm in the honors program. We have like an honors program here at the university where you can do research and um, work hand in hand with the professors. So right now, I am actually currently working on my um, senior thesis. I'm trying to figure out like if um, foreign aid in African countries is a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm sure like um, maybe by the end of like um, probably around March I'll do a presentation um, on my um, thesis so if any of you are interested in that um, we could definitely talk about it. Um, so um, let's get started. So I'm going to share my um, PowerPoint that I have here. Um, Can you can you guys see it? No. Uh, I can't see it on my side. But okay. Let me see. But Copper Bell, can you see the PowerPoint? If so, raise your hand. No. Okay. No, we're not seeing it yet. All right. Tell, tell me what you're clicking on. I'm clicking on screen share. Hmm. Clicking on screen share. Share entire screen. Hmm? Share, share. share entire screen. Can you click on that? Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, it's just screen share. I don't see entire screen. No. Is your PowerPoint open already? Yes. Yeah, and then um, when you when you when you click on screen share, it's it's supposed to bring you a preview of three or four options. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'll see three screens. I think three or four screens. Okay. You see anything? No, it's. It doesn't open up. The screen share is not open. Hmm. Well, uh, just well, well go why don't you go ahead and just um, talk about, um, just go ahead and explain it even though they can't see the PowerPoint. We, we need to move forward. Okay. As long as you can see it. Can you see it? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. We, oh, wait, uh, wait, like, wait, hold on, sorry. It's, okay. It, like, opened up. Um, it did? Yeah. All right, let me, let me do it again. Can you guys see it? Mm, no, we can't see it on this side. No? Okay. Oh, now I see it. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Well, I see something. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe it's my desktop um, wallpaper. It's really creepy. Yeah, it's your wallpaper we're seeing. Oh, now oh, we see. Sorry about that. 
just confirm with the uh, copper belt that they see it as well. Okay. Let me see. Uh, All right. We see you again. But it did show up at one point. There we oh. go. And if you could share um, full screen, you're good. Okay. Can you guys see it now? I uh, can't see full screen, but maybe they can on their side. I'm not sure. Or it may just take a minute for it to show up. Hold, let's see. Uh, you're back. Okay. Okay, just go back to, to the presentation. We'll go with that. Okay. And just uh, as uh, Copper Belt, if you can see the first slide, step one, raise your hand, please. No. Because I can see it, like, on the little corner, I can see it. Yeah, I can see step one, and I can see Copper Belt. Copper Belt, if you cannot see step one slide, raise your hand. We just want to... She should just go on ahead straight ahead with the presentation, just talk about it. Okay, you can go ahead with the presentation, Fatu. Oh, they cannot see it? I don't. I don't think they can see it. Oh, okay. I don't but you can confirm with them. Can you can you see it? Put your hand um, up if you can see. Oh, they said they can see it. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. All right, so this is just about me and um, my school, basically. Um, um, these are just pictures of my school and the basketball. Um, uh, before I actually attend, started attending um, UConn, I went to a community college for two years and then got my associate degree there um, in business administration. Um, UConn is a very big school. Um, it is very known for, um, for its um, great academic opportunities and athletics as well. We have one of the um, best um, basketball teams. Um, so let's talk about so education, um, the Education USA Advising um, Center is um, available to assist you throughout the U U.S. college and university admission process. These centers are supported by the U.S. State Department, and the information they pro they provide we provide is. Um, very accurate, comprehensive, and current. So this is a worldwide network with hundreds of Education USA advising um, centers in 170 um, countries. Um, so in the past academic year, um, there were like more than 760,000 um, international students from all around the world um, studying um, in, at colleges and universities in the, uni in the United States, uh, making, making it the premier international destination for most um, international students. So um, we have um, students from Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, Middle East, um, Middle East not America and Oceania. So, um, there are, did you did you know that there are thousands of institutions to choose from in the United States? Um, as you research the many options, it is important to look for a college or university that best meets your academic, financial, and personal and other requirements. So, like for you, if you start your research, these are the main questions that um, you ask yourself: Does it meet my financial? Um, personal and um, academic requirements before you start applying. So the U.S. higher education is different from many other systems around the world as it is not subject to the central government authority. So and institutions are free to design their own curriculum. 
regional and national accreditation is given to U.S. college and universities to ensure um, institutional standards. Um, but you, uh, the U.S. In institutions have strong reputation for specific programs, facilities, faculty, resources, and so on, but, but there is no official system to rank them. Instead, you will need to choose a college um, or university or program that is right for you. So the main thing is just to choose a um, university or college that is right for you um, and base um, base your decisions on how y your own academic, financial, personal, and other requirements um, meet this um, in institution. So in addition, there are no ad um, international entrance examinations for um, admission to U.S. colleges and universities. Um, each institution has its own entrance requirement, and, and these requirements vary across um, uh, uh, colleges. Um, like I said, I transferred um, from a uh, community college to, to, to UConn. So transferring from one institution to another is very common um, in the U.S. higher education system. Typically, um, the credit must be received from an institution with regional accreditation. So um, community colleges, like I said, often have transferred um, agreements with colleges and universities with, within their own state. Um, the option can lower overall cost. Like for me, I know um, the main reason why I went to a community college was because I wanted to save money first um, before going to a four-year um, university. Um, it can lower cost. Like tuition as a two-year community college is um, typically much more lower um, than tuitions in four-year universities. So um, step one um, in your um, step one in your research um, is to research your options. Um, can it can begin as early as two years prior to U.S. study. Um, during step one, you will need to define your priorities and narrow your choices and prepare to um, prepare to take your standardized tests if required for admissions. When searching for um, an ac academic program in the U.S., it is very important um, to first define your priorities and decide what is most important for you. There are many factors to consider, um, and you may want to use the define your there's a define your priorities um, worksheet to guide you through the main ones um, at www.educationusa.info slash um, five, five steps to study. So you can always go to the website to help you, but mainly what you what you need when you're defining your priorities is you need to um, figure out what is most important to you. Is it the type of school, um, do, you have, do you have special needs, financial aid, housing, majors, and the cost. I know the cost is, a ma is the most important for m many people. So make sure you just define your priorities before um, you um, start um, applying. So we're going to take a look at a few of them that are important for, at, to most um, international students. So first, you will want to determine which degree type do you want to seek in the United States. An undergraduate student in the United States is seeking one or of two higher education degrees, an associate degree or a bachelor's degree. The, the associate degree usually takes two years to complete, and it's it's usually offered at two-year colleges known as community colleges or um, junior colleges. Um, it may be on in terminal program leading to a specific career or a transfer program allowing um, students to take to transfer into into their the third year or of a four-year bachelor's degree program like I did. Um, the bachelor's degree usually takes four years to complete, and it's offered um, and it offered a degree granting in, um, institutions known as colleges, universities, or specialized institutions. It is highly flexible, and students can choose from a wide variety of courses and create their unique programs as well. I know um, in my university here, um, there. <coughs> 
them. Like there are certain people who like customize their major, which they are usually called individualized major, where you individualize and you individualize the um, the type of classes that you want to take, and then um, make that into a degree. So it's very flexible um, in terms of bachelor's degree programs. Um, the academic majors you're interested in is another important factor when defining your priorities. Um, undergraduate education is based on the concept of liberal arts and sciences. If you're earning a four-year bachelor's degree, you'll be required to take classes um, to take classes a variety of general education subjects during the first two years of your undergraduate degree. Um, I know for me, like, um, I took a lot of general education classes that were, like, not related to my major at all, but then you'll be surprised how interesting these classes are that you thought you will never like. I know last, um, last semester I took... Um, classical literature. I, ne I never knew I would enjoy um, old literature um, that much, but it was, it was a very good class that I learned a lot from. Um, during the last two years of um, your um, undergraduate career, you will take subjects in your chosen academic major field. If you're interested in specialized programs such as law, medicine, dentistry, and pharmacy, um, and education, Please note that these are only available at the graduate, le graduate level in the United States. Um, undergraduate students, however, may choose majors and take courses, coursework to help them prepare for um, more specialized programs at the um, graduate level. I know, um, like, in terms of like going to med school, like in your under, in if you if you decide to go to med school, in your undergraduate um, career, you'll take like classes that are required um, in order to gain admission to a medical school. So cost, I know cost is like the most usually the most important um, factor that people um, consider before um, applying to school. Um, it is. Um, how will you pay for your, basically the question that you want to ask yourself is how will you pay for your um, your study in the United States? So tuition and fees <coughs> covers <coughs> covers the um, the basic cost of educational um, instruction, including the facilities, lab equipment, um, libraries, and other tools used for instruction. Um, then you will have living costs, which can include room and board, um, books and supplies, transportation, and personal ex expenses, health insurance, and so on. Um, these costs um, vary across the United States and by institutions. With the right amount of planning and research, it can be made affordable with high returns on your investment. So, um, like I know financial aid may, if you're looking, um, financial aid is like uh, an important factor to, to look at um, especially if you're an international student. Um, there are three types of um, financial aid you can get um, in, in a U.S. institution, like merit-based aid um, is typically awarded based on applicants. So um, your academic, such your academic achievements, high, if you have high test scores, um, special talents like music, art, etc., athletic abilities, and all, and all leadership um, potential. Um, and then you have need-based um, 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 financial aid, which is usually basically considers the student's family income and financial need. It may also take certain merits as listed above, um, as listed in the in the merit base section into consideration as well. Um, and then you can have on campus employment. Um, up to um, current, I know current U.S. immigration regulations allow international students to work up to twenty. Many hours per week on campus while um, school is in session, and full-time hours up to 40 hours per week during school vacations or breaks. Um, international students are eligible for on-campus and employment while enrolled full-time in, in an academic program. It will depend on the availability of jobs on campus and the average 
um, earning is between $1,500 and $2,500 US dollars um, per year, which can greatly help you um, with personal personal um, expenses. It is important to check with the international student advisor on campus before considering any employment and to learn more about on-campus employment opportunities. Like for me, I know um, I'm currently an RA, which is like a resident assistant um, on campus, so um, that greatly helps me um, in terms of like um, like personal expenses, like little things that I need to buy and things like that. So um, that, like on, on campus employment, like if you can balance it out with school work, like you can, it can be definitely helpful. And then you have other sources of financial aid can come from foreign government or university. You can check with your um, Ministry of Education or um, local institutions. And the U.S. government also um, gives out scholarships to international students. Um, check with your local Fulbright Commission and or U.S. Embassy if you um, if you're interested in that also and also you can get private sponsors from um, corporation and or organizations in your home country or even the United States so you can you can you can check with check these other resources where you can get financial aid. And also, you want to um, consider the type of institution that you want. Do you want a public um, public or private? So um, the U.S. government does not own or operate um, academic institutions. Instead, you have the option to choose between state or privately operated institutions. Some of the best colleges and universities in the U.S. are state operated, and some are private. Um, public State, public state run institutions usually have lower tuition and fees, but financial aid um, may be more limited in, um, in a public institutions. Private institutions have on average higher tuition and fees, but more financial aid may be available. I know UConn is a public um, institution and it's, um, it's pretty, the tuition and fees is pretty um, not that bad compared to um, private institutions in the state. So um, U.S. colleges and universities may also be known for other reasons, such as having um, special subject focus like science or art, um, a religious affiliation, or all-male or all-female all um, campuses as well. Um, the selectivity of an, of an institution um, is the total percentage of applicants who are accepted. Um, this is another important factor to consider, and selectivity can vary depending on how competitive the institution, um, the applicants are. Um, some highly selective um, institutions accept less than 10% of applicants. Um, these are mostly Ivy League schools like Harvard, Yale, um, Brown and other institutions as well. They are very, very um, selective. Um, and there are less selective institutions that accept more than 50% of applicants. Um, how, comp how competitive you will um, depend on your standardized test scores and past academic performance. Also, you would want to consider the size of a college or university campus, which can impact Many things, such as the number of students in a classroom, um, which courses or subjects are offered, the ease of uh, meeting new friends, and the overall environment. Like, imagine yourself if you want to go to a big or medium or small size school. The number of um, international students enrolled um, at a university may be important to you as well. Um, the, number, the number can vary between low, medium, or high international student population. I know UConn is a v very big school. It's very big. Like, um, and then you have a lot of international students here as well. But it's very easy to You meet new people almost every day. That's how, that's how big it is. Um, other factors which may be important to you includes um, the location. Um, the U.S. is made up of four diverse regions, the, the West, Midwest, South, and New England. Um, 
you may have your own um not not east sorry I said New England um but New England is in the northeast like Yukon like around this area Yukon um Rhode Island Connecticut and other states are in um in in New England which is located in the in the northeast um you may you may prefer one um I know like for me here in 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 the northeast it's so cold maybe if you want if you don't like if you don't like the cold maybe the west um west region um of the united states will be better for you i know sometimes i consider like moving moving to the west because of the cold weather here um and then the school setting um do you like um schools that are typically located in either an urban city um suburban residential and or rural um countryside um yukon is like out of nowhere um basically where it's 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 very isolated, but I like that because you kind of you kind of are isolated from like the city life, which can be very distracting for me um, sometimes. And then you want to see the housing that is available. Um, do you want to live on campus or, or off campus? Um, in like um, a co man or woman or co-ed um, halls. And then activities that are offered as well, um, in terms of like sports, music. Um, what 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 kind of co curricular activities are you interested in? So these are like questions that you should ask yourself um, before considering applying to to a university. Um, once you have defined your priorities, um, you can you can begin your research and narrow down your choices to find the right fit. You may choose to. Uh, you may choose to um, narrow it down to 10 um, to 20 um, universities um, or colleges that meet your needs um, in terms of if if your needs are co if you if things that are most important to you are the cost or academic programs financial aid so just narrow it down basically um, once you have defined your priorities refer to call to the college and university website. Almost every college and university in the U.S. has a website with detailed information about degree programs, application procedures, um, academic departments, on-campus facilities, and other topics as well. Um, often you can al always um, find a copy of the course catalog to read online or download later. You may send an email as well um, to, to find out more about the university um, if you're curious. Um, but you should only contact um, the admi admissions representative directly to ask questions specific um, to that are not addressed on the institution's website. So you want to make sure that you check the website thoroughly and be familiar with it before you email um, to ask. Because usually most of the information that you need um, are on the website. And you you want to use your search engines. Independent colleges college search website allows you to search for institutions by subject um, you are interested in studying, um, or by geographical um, like preference, etc. And um, several of these are also listed on the Education USA website. If you um, if you want to use that, if possible, um, visit the campus in person to get the rest the best sense of the atmosphere and set it or you can also use social media and take virtual tours of US campuses and and to even learn more um, you can also attend educational fairs if you cannot visit the United States um, colleges and universities may come to visit you like take an education USA advisor to to learn about talk to talk to an education advisor to learn more about upcoming um, higher educational affairs or other opportunities for you to meet with admissions um, officers face to face. Um, you can also visit your nearest education USA advising center for further guidance and to learn more about educational um, opportunities in the United States. 
Um, after you have narrowed down your list of choices, um, check to see which standardized test, if you will, um, if any, you'll be required to take. Um, being able to communicate in English is a basic requirement for successful study in um, in the United States. Um, if English is not your native language, um, U.S. colleges and university will ask you to take um, an English language proficiency test before admission. Um, the most common the most common tests are like the TOEFL, PTE, IELTS, um, and then you can also, um, they can also require you to take um, academic ability tests like the SAT exam and ACT. Um, okay, so your five steps to study um, to U.S. is also available on the Education USA website to assist um, undergraduate, graduate English language, and short-term international students through the admission process. Also, remember to check on the to check on us um, on Facebook, um, YouTube, and Twitter if you can. Um, you can find more links, post questions, um, and receive weekly financial aid um, announcements and um, updates. Like if you follow um, the Education USA on Facebook and U YouTube and Twitter account. And um, explore your five steps um, to to U.S. study on the Facebook app as well. It's the first game-based um, um, adventure for international students to learn about educational opportunities in the United States. You can also search for an advising center near you to speak with a qualified advisor and receive further assistance as well. If you want to find, you can always go to the website uh, website for more information if you if that's what you want, or you can sl simply um, click um, Ask an Advisor button. I'm located at the U U Education USA website to submit your questions virtually to a local Education USA um, advisor. Um, so it's time for questions. Okay. Can you guys see me now? So I know I cannot hear you guys, but if you have a question, like you can tell um, Pamela, and she can like hopefully type it and I could answer it. Is Pamela there? No. Is someone um is someone getting Pamela? No. Hey. Hi. Yes. I'm, I was just telling them if any because I. Okay. Um. They said no questions. Your presentation was clear. So I was just asking if they had any questions. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. So they said they have they have no questions. Okay, I guess uh, that's all the time we had. Carla stepped up and she had to go for another engagement. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, uh, as usual, we'll keep this. Um, it's, it's, it's recorded and we'll have it on our YouTube page. We thank everyone from CV for, for joining us and Fatu, thank you for your presentation. Yes, thank you so much. Um, have a good day, everyone. All right, thanks, everyone. All Bye. Right. Bye. Bye bye.